Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's great to see you. This is one of my most requested videos. So this is a crafty scrap space tour. I don't have a craft room, I use my lounge or living room depending on what you call it. Um, and I just have different walls dedicated to craft stuff and then other walls with my sofa and my TV on. This is the first thing you'll see as you come into the room. So here is the door on the right of the screen. As you come in, this would be on your right. So here I have my 12 by 12 paper rack and I have a set of shelves with all different things on them. The paper rack is kind of sorted, um, not very well anymore. Every time I get new papers, I decide to sort through it and then it just goes back to being a mess. So from the bottom to sort of a third of the way up is Christmas paper pads, then random paper pads. And then above that, I try to have all of my solid colours. The solid colours are split into blues and purples, greens, oranges and yellows, reds and pinks, and then black and white. Then I try to keep acetate and vellum and that sort of stuff on the top shelf so it's easy to find. To the right of that, in these magazine racks, I have packaging boxes, um, A4 popper wallets with different projects that I'm still working on foam sheets, A4 papers, anything A4 that fits in there, that's where it lives. Then below that I have all of my albums. The red one is December Daily. I think some of the others are too, but I'm not 100% sure. So none of those are finished, I will admit. I really need to work on my previous December Dailies, um, but I will probably do this year's one first, if I'm telling the truth. Then the shelf underneath that holds my stamps and my washi. These little tubs or bins, whatever you call them, are from Ikea. And they are labelled with my Dymo label maker, which I will try and link down below for you. I got mine from Aldi, but I think they sell the same one on Amazon as well. Down below that is my box of unopened gems and enamel dots. And then in front of that I have some little tubs, which are from Poundland, I believe. They used to hold screws and nails, which I've kept in a little bag in my toolkit and now they hold jewellery making supplies and wood veneer so they're really handy and they're a really inexpensive way to get storage if you need it. To the right of those are all my notebooks and my wax seal kit and um, I think that's all that's in there maybe a few planner dividers that sort of thing but that's all what's there and then below that the top one is full of project life cards the one underneath that is full of paint and mixed media -y stuff I think and then the bottom one is full of all different envelopes and um, mostly the plain ones I keep my pattern ones in the rainbow drawers which I will show you later on so I'm going to spin around directly behind me and show you the storage over there then if I turn around on the wall behind me I have these shelves here and my Raskog before we carry on with the video, I just want to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already. Please don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it and click the notification bell to be notified when I post more crafty videos. These shelves here are actually shoe shelves from Argos. I got this idea from Daisy at My Green Cow. She worked out that the IKEA little tubs that I'll show you in a moment fit perfectly in there. So I've got two of those and I've stacked those on top of each other. Then I've got the Raskog over here, which is from Hobbycraft. My one is in mint, and I think they're £25 at the moment. So I wasn't sure about getting one at first, but I absolutely love it. So I store it here, and then whenever I'm using it, I just roll it over to my desk. So it's a great way to have all of the bits that I want on hand, but that don't necessarily fit right on my desk. I'm going to move in a bit closer now and show you each of the different boxes and what's inside them. On the top shelf, I have my 6x6 paper pads all of my different alphas, and then two of these Craftmate books full of sequins. Moving down to the next shelf, this tub is from Home Bargains. It's one of the fridge organisers, but they're great and they fit perfectly in here. The white one next to it here is from Ikea. That one is full of my embossing powders and my heat tool. The next one along is sequins. These are ones that come in their own tubs, so anything like this would live in there. Um, and I've also got some packs of glitter and things. So anything in bulkier packaging lives in here. Then finally on this row, I have this one full of new ephemera. 
So these are ephemera packs I haven't yet opened because I'm trying to use up the ones I have already taken bits out of. Um, and these are all labelled with my Domo label maker, which I'll try and link for you. Moving down again, the one at the end is another one of the Home Bargains fridge organisers. This one is full of all my ephemera packs that are already open. And I have those in the clear CD wallets. Let me grab one and I'll show you. These are the little wallets that I have them in. Some of them have Velcro dots, some of them I've just tucked in. But they're great because you can see what's inside them and I've also labelled those with the label maker. Some of the ones in here are in their original packaging. So the sticker kit and ones fit in there quite nicely. I've got some that I was sent. So any open ephemera packs will be in there. This one has chul in it which is basically spilling out. I need something bigger but for now that just about fits. The next one is full of crepe paper like these party streamers that I stitch to make crepe paper ruffles. And then finally, this one is full of rosettes, ones that I've been sent, ones that I've made, all just ready to go. On to the final two. So this one over here has all my gems in it, like 3D gems to put in the bottom of shadow boxes and stuff. This one is full of shredded paper and crepe paper for packages. This one has all of the little glittery styrofoam balls and confetti and all of that sort of stuff. And then the last one on here is full of tags. These little tubs are from Ikea, from the kitchen section. I'll try and find the name and see if I can link them because they fit perfectly in these shoe racks. Then on the very bottom I have got paint and things in here and a wood shape to alter. This one is empty at the moment which I'm very excited about. I can't wait to fill that with something. I'm sure it'll be full before I know it. And then this one is full of leads, um, laptop chargers, camera chargers, anything that I might need in the lounge, not just craft stuff. All of my electrical stuff lives in here. Sorry if this is shaky, I'm having to hold it because the light is coming in through the window and it's just blinding. So in the top of the Rascog I have this box which is full of all different trim. I have this book here which is full of all my open packs of gems. This is the book that I have for all of my open packs of gems. So I'll show you one of the pages. There you go, it's just like little pocket wallets. Um, this is used for stickers, I believe, but I wanted somewhere to keep my open gem packs because otherwise it, they sort of peel off and go everywhere. So that's a great way to store those. I'm also trying to use up the open packs before I open any more, so it's another great way to have them close by. And at the back I've just got an A4 popper wallet which is full of tiny word stickers. Then onto the next shelf, this one is where I store my sequins. So each of these little boxes is from AliExpress, I will try and link them for you. And you can fit 3 by 13 I believe. And each of them is just labelled with a colour and they're all in there in their little AliExpress packets. Um, or wherever I've got them from but mostly AliExpress. In here I've also got a sequin box that somebody sent me and this little makeup bag which is full of all the sequins that won't fit in those tubs. So all of these in like tubes and um, packets and all sorts that are too big for the little tubs. And this fits perfectly in this little gap here so that's where that lives. Then at the bottom of the Rascog I have all of the bits that I want to alter. So anything that I've seen cheap in a shop and thought, oh, I could mess with that and make it pretty. Um, I've got some of the embroidery hoops for hoop mail. I have got some little packs to put sequins in. Polystyrene baubles, boxes I want to alter. Anything like that goes in this bottom part of the Rascog here. Then if you turn from facing there all the way around, I'm trying to move it slowly so that nobody gets sick. You end up here which is where I've got my rainbow drawers and then you can see like the edge of my desk here. So I will show you these drawers in more detail and then we'll move on to the desk. Just before I show you the drawers, I wanted to show you this little area above them. So this is a shelf where my cameo will go when it arrives and I just have all my handmade things I've been sent sort of lining the walls around it. These drawers are from Hobbycraft and they're just the rainbow ones. I've got one set that is 12 by 12 and one that is thinner. I'm not sure on the exact dimensions for the thinner one but I'll find it and try and link them both below for you. 
The ones on the left hand side, I'll move the curtain in a minute so you can see them properly. Those ones are full of themed things. So I've got a drawer for Valentine's, Easter, birthday, summer, Halloween, all that sort of stuff. Then on the right, as you can see, I've got my sewing machine on top of these drawers so it's easy to get out and put away. Um, these ones have got projects, stickers, tissue paper, packaging, stationery, duplicates of things, all that sort of stuff. Directly next to the rainbow drawers is my desk. So I'll pan across for you. This side is where I keep my ring light. You can see the stand, but I've taken the light down so that you can see things properly. And then it goes all up the wall, all my different bits and pieces that I want to display. Unfortunately, I've had to re-record this part of the room tour because the footage just wasn't good enough last time. So I apologise for any change in light or anything. Obviously, this is a different day, so I can't guarantee that the lighting is the same. But anyway, we've just looked at the top of the desk and like all of the wall behind the desk. Moving down, so you can see here, this is my desktop. Underneath, I have two sets of drawers. This desk is from Ikea, but the tabletop and the drawers are separate pieces. I will link it all down below for you. I did it this way because I needed a certain size tabletop for like this little alcove in my room. Um, and I really wanted drawers. But to tell the truth, I didn't like the Alex drawers that everyone else has because they have the little like cutout where you pull them open. And I just thought that would look messy. I always stuff my drawers full and I didn't want to see things like poking out of that little bit. So I went for these ones instead. I will link them down below for you, both the tabletop and the drawers. The drawers were around, I think, £29 each. And the tabletop was around £20, something like that. It wasn't hugely expensive, which is why I went ahead and got it done. I haven't added labels to the drawers yet. I'm planning to do that on my new Cameo, which I'm unboxing straight after this. So they will be added. I'll try and insert a picture or something. If not, I will share them on my Instagram somewhere. So you'll definitely get to see them. Rather than showing you in all the drawers because it's very boring, I will show you the two over here because they are organised um, in a certain way, but the others are just all thrown in. So on the left hand side we have adhesive, tools, thread, trim, package supplies and then like stationary stuff at the bottom. On the right hand side we have bows, florals, doilies and stencils, things like that my sticker kit and design team stuff, all of my lollipop box club kits and then the bottom one has all of my mink supplies in it. As you can see I've also got two boxes under here. These are the 35 litre really useful boxes from Hobbycraft. They hold the A4 popper wallets perfectly. So I have got two Christmas ones, two Halloween, well one Halloween box and then a little Ikea organised with lots of Halloween stuff. This side I've got a Christmas box, there's another Christmas box which should be on top. I'm not sure where I've put that, I must have been using it. And then some other little random boxes full of Christmas stuff, but it all fits perfectly under my desk. Then at the end of Halloween and Christmas season, I will take that out and I will swap it with Valentine's and Easter for next year. Summer stuff, I haven't really got that much of, um, so it tends to just live in like the sticker drawer and the little summer drawer. I don't need extra storage for it, but Christmas and Halloween, Easter and Valentine's, I definitely do. So that's how I tackle that storage problem. Down here on the side, you can see these two books. One is A4, one is A3. Those are full of all different vinyl. It was for the Cricut, but I'll use it with the Cameo now. And then in between the boxes is the perfect little slot to put my cutting boards. So that one is one from Aldi with all different edges on it. And I usually have the We Are Memory Keepers one in there as well, like the score and trim tool, that one. That one lives in there as well. So I'll move over to the bow and florals drawer and show you how they're organised next. This is how the bow drawer looks. So I have got these five compartment organizers from Amazon. Two of these fit side by side perfectly. I was annoyed that it's slightly too slim for three of them, but two will do. And then I've got all of my odd bows down the side. My florals are organized in exactly the same way. Some more of those Amazon dividers, I'll link those down below. And then all of my packs down the side here. The other drawers, like I said, are all just thrown in, so it's not really worth looking through those, but these two have like a specific way that I keep things organised. Moving back onto my desk, I will show you the IKEA pegboard, which is on the left first. So I'm just going to move up, so we'll start at the top of the pegboard. As you can see, the pegboard is sort of nestled behind my TV. It was here before the TV was, so I've had to sort of work things around it, but it works perfectly for me. Starting on the left, I have this little tub thing from Ikea. This is meant for herbs in the kitchen, but it hangs perfectly off of the shelf, which is made for the pegboard. 
On there I've got a leaf punch that I use all the time and lots of little glass bottles for my sequin mixes to sort of hold all of the extras if I make a big sequin mix and don't need it all for that project. Then coming down a level we've got a little pot here which is full of all of the spare pegs for the boards like the um, hooks is what I mean. This one is full of all different Sue's fish ephemera which I have print and cut. The little tub with the eyelashes is from Sass and Bell, I believe. It's supposed to be for a plant, but I use it to hold that little bunny and all of my spoons for sequin mixes. Next to that is a pen pot. Then slightly higher, the one with the star in it is holding some charms that I've made. To the right of that is a little mini trash can. It's another one of these herb planter pots, but I needed something on the desk just for like the backing of double-sided tape and stuff, like the little things. Um, and I didn't want to spend any more money on this space, so I just used one of those, labelled it trash, and stuck it up there. Then these little containers slide out like so. They come in packs of three from Ikea. So I've got two for pegs because I've got a ridiculous amount. I've got pom-poms, some little florals that I was using, even more pom-poms because, again, got too many. Um, and then some bulldog clips on the end that I've been using to make mini clipboards. I actually have a process video if you're interested in seeing those, so I'll link it down below for you. I'm going to move you down to the bottom row now. On this row we have all of my Hobby Lobby trim. I've been incredibly lucky and some amazing ladies from the US have sent me most of the colours. So... I display them on here because I love them so much. If they were easier for me to get hold of, I'd have duplicates of all of them. They are my favourite trim and I use it on everything. So I display those there. Next to that, I have got my mini envelope punch and then some measurements for a project that I was working on. I always jot things down, like measurements. I really need to get a notebook <laughs> specifically for that. Then over here, I have got some gold texture paste. That is Cosmic Shimmer brand. My Heidi Swap Colour Shine, some metallic gilding polish, which I use for wax seals, and my EK Tools. And it's an anti static tool, but it gets rid of the sticky on the back of stickers and stuff. And you can also use it so that your embossing powder lays a bit nicer. Um, and next to that is just my most used pens. And I think there might even be a few tools in there. So I've got like my craft knife, a lighter, my Score tool, that sort of thing. So that's pens and tools. And the one earlier was just pens. Then at the bottom, I have these three sets of acrylic drawers. These are old ones from Primark, I believe. The one on the left at the top is missing. Um, it's full of Halloween stuff and I've got it out for a project. The bottom one is also full of Halloween stuff. This one is full of cupcake cases because that's what I use to make my sequin mixes. They don't get static, is the only way I can explain it. So they're much easier to pour out. So I use those to create sequin mixes. Underneath that, I have some little kite embellishments that I haven't quite finished. Then in this final set of drawers, this one is a bit wider and it's got three drawers instead of two. The top one is full of some rainbow hearts from Paige Evans. I will link the cup file down below for you. The next one is my gratitude journal, which was totally inspired by Lollipop Box Club, their kit, their um, Celebrate the Little Things kit. So that's in there. I've got some process videos of that if you're interested. And the bottom one is just full of all my Cricut things. For anyone who doesn't know, I have switched from a Cricut Explore Air 2 to a Cameo 4. So I've got all of my Cricut things sort of put away so that I can test out the Cameo and see which one I like better. Then if I move you to the right... You can see the other side of my desk. So I have three of these shelves from Ikea. You can't see the third one. I'll show you in a moment. They are picture shelves, I believe. I will find a link and put it down below for you. I have got a few things underneath the shelves. So this little three compartment one is from Home Bargains. I think it was like £1.99. I've got a little Ikea one in here as well. I'm not sure why. Um, and I use that to put all of the ephemera and things that I'm using at the moment in. Then I've got even more of those little Ikea tubs further along. I've got my glue gun. And then behind that, I've got my little stand for wax melting, some iridescent texture paste, and some of those little gold foil flakes. Um, I'll grab those out when I zoom in a bit closer because I have no idea what to do with those. And you guys might have some suggestions. But coming back to this side of the shelf, I've got this little organiser. Let me move you in a bit closer so I can show you properly. I've got this little organiser, which is a bathroom organiser, I believe. This side, I've got all my pliers and jewellery making stuff. In the centre, I have my glue, my all-in-one tool, 
there's some scissors they're not supposed to be there um, and then usually my tweezers live in the center bit as well this side i have headphones i have some cleaner for my desk and some blue tack moving across i have my stickles storage some glitters here my little sequin tray my sequin tray and then my miniature really useful box grid thing which i will show you properly in just a second this is the little really useful box grid that i was talking about really useful is the brand <laughs> i'm not just telling you that it's really useful every time this one holds all my tiny things so i've got tiny tools buttons beads more buttons pins paper clips heart eyes eyelets flat backs more flat backs all that sort of stuff lives in these and they come out separately so i can just pull out the one i want and then pop it back while we're over here let me show you those gold flakes i was talking about these are the flakes i was talking about so they are gilding flakes um and i have no idea what to do with those so any suggestions leave them down below but that is how this side of under the shelves looks moving up the next two shelves are just full of creations that people have sent me or ones that i've made and want to keep so i'm going to pan across there quickly that's going to be the easiest way to show you and then we will move on to the next part of the wall So we have moved from these little boxes right even more and this is just display stuff. Please excuse this, it's my ring light. I can't really move it because I've wedged it there so that it perfectly holds the camera. <laughs> I really don't wanna move it and have to reorganize it all. So we're gonna try and film around it. I think the best way to show you this will just be to film a quick overview. These are just things again that I want to display, things that I've been bought, made, things I've kept. Um, anything that has a sweet little memory will go in this little area of my craft room. The umbrellas, I should mention, I got the idea from Daisy, who's my green cow, and I will try and link those down below for you as well. So this is where I keep my glitter glue and my pearl effects. These little buttons, or badges, whatever you call them, are super cute and they are from Wishes in Wonderland, which I will link down below for you. And they're little Disney ghosties. So I'll grab those out of the way. And they're just sort of wedged in here so that I can see them all the time. Then if I grab this out to show you, this is, I think it's called either a lipstick organiser or a nail polish organiser, I'm not entirely sure. But it was from Poundland regardless, so it's very inexpensive. In the front I have one of my little tools for my all-in-one tool and my tiny pink heart punch. Then in the back, this is what I wanted to show you. I have put a Velcro dot on the top of each of these little bottles. And then inside here is the other half of the Velcro dot so that when I put them back in, they stand up and don't all fall out. I also like to keep them this way up because it stops them from getting clogged and it means I don't have to wait ages for it to run to the right end when I want to use it. So I have Stickles, Stardust, Dovecraft, 3D Pearl Effects in purple. Not a very imaginative name. Um, silver Glitter and Gold Glitter, these are also the Dovecraft ones. Thank you so much for watching. This is very much a real crafty living space. So I'm sorry if everything isn't perfectly put away and curated and things, but this is how my room really looks on a daily basis. So I'm excited to share that with you. Let me know down below if you've enjoyed this room tour, if there's anything you'd like to see in more detail, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.